Yes, sir. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome. My name is Idris Ibrahim. I am an incoming dental student at The Ohio State University. The purpose of this channel is to inspire and elevate, and hopefully you can inspire by these videos and also are able to elevate yourself with these videos. Uh, this is series four of the Dental School Admissions Bootcamp series. Uh, this series, I really was looking forward to it because it has to do with interviews, and I felt like I did a great job in my interviews. I was able to express myself, communicate effectively, and also answer the question effectively. Um, first off, let me start by saying congratulations on your upcoming dental school interview. If you still haven't gotten an invite, I also want to say congratulations because I believe in you that you are going to get that invite sooner or later. So you might be thinking, am I qualified to make this video? Will I offer a helpful insight? Uh, let me just give you a little bit of background. I did get invited to 10 dental schools to interview at. I decided to go to eight. So hopefully after spending all that money and time and energy, I learned a couple of things about dental school interviews that might help you guys out. Um, so how did I prepare for the interview? Uh, my first interview was uh, September 12th, like a day after my birthday. It was in Western University, uh, located in California. So they contacted me a month before they emailed me saying congratulations, uh, we want to offer you an interview at Western University. I was really excited and also extremely nervous because English is not my first language. I know you guys are listening to this and be like, wow, you really know how to speak English, why is it not your first language? Uh, I do know how to speak it fluently, but the thing is when it comes to pressure and nervousness, uh, my thick accent comes out and I also tend to throw the grammar out the window and I start to stutter and my speech impediment just kicks in, so a lot of things happen. Been, but I have been working on it the past like four years and it's getting a lot better and it's improving a lot. Uh, yeah, so when I got that email, I was like, listen, uh, let me first review my application and make sure I know everything in my application because at the end of the day, they'll have that in front of them and they'll ask you questions from your application. So if you don't know like an answer, if you forget something, it looks really bad on you. So after I reviewed that, I went to Google, I typed in uh, dental school uh, slash medical school interview questions and I found a great article that I'm gonna link down below where it has like six 60 questions, uh, it asks you why this school, why dentistry, uh, what's your weakness, strength, just basic interview questions. I reviewed that, I practiced those, then two weeks before the actual interview, I came across uh, the Career Center at Ohio State where they offer mock interviews. Uh, it's a four day program, but only went two days. Uh, so basically the first day when you go there, you meet with a career counselor, he asks you the basic questions, he gives you a little bit insight on what they look for in interviews, uh, how your posture should be, how you should be talking and all that. And and also he gives you examples on how to answer questions. So they basically answer questions, you listen to it, and they kind of give you tips and tricks. Uh, the second day is actual the initiation step where they give you homework, they give you a list of questions. They say, hey, prepare this. Uh, we're gonna do an interview uh, two days from now. So I went home, I prepared those interviews. I went in, he asked me a couple of interview questions. I was able to answer it. And he was also able to give me feedback, like you're talking too fast, uh, your posture is not great, you're not making eye contact, and yada, yada. They kind of just like grill you and also tell you what you can improve on and the third day you come back and the fourth day you do some other things but I didn't have time to go the third and fourth day so I went those two days and I was able to learn a lot from those two days so if your school does offer a career center or a mock interviews go to it uh, it does offer a lot of insight and also gives you a lot of uh, real life experience so a week before dental school interviews I came across SDN that student doctor network where they have basically pages for every dental school interview so in those pages student leave uh, feedback on how the interview went what kind of interview style was it uh, what kind of interview questions they ask. So this was a really helpful tip. Uh, so before the interview, I kind of knew exactly the format of the interview, if it was one-on-one, -on -one, if it was multi-minute interview, if it was a group interview. And also I kind of knew exactly what kind of questions they're asking, uh, if they're focusing more on your application or more about you or holistically. So this really helped a lot before I went out there. So for every interview, I made sure I went there a day or two early so I could go there and get a sense of how campus is like, uh, look at anything interesting. I also look for any dental students are there so I could kind of know a little bit more about the school. Uh, the reason I did this is because imagine uh, waking up on your interview day and you go to campus and you don't know where to park, you get lost and you're already stressed out. Now you're adding more stress by being a little bit late and you're sweating. So I wanted to avoid all that headache. I always went the day before or the night before, went to campus, made sure I know where I was parking at, made sure I know where the interview building was, uh, then just went back home. So the night before, I made sure I pulled up the websites for every dental school. I looked through their mission statement, their vision board, and also I looked through any community service they had. So later on down the road, when they asked me why this school, I could kind of tie back to it. So the day of, 
for me, I'll usually just wake up, take a shower. They do provide breakfast at the school, so you don't have to make your own breakfast or buy breakfast. For me, since I do have a sensitive stomach, I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't want that to ruin the rest of my interview. But I always made sure I had gum or like a floss or something with me. So just in case if my interview was after lunch, but more than likely if your last name is from A to I, uh, your interview is earlier in the morning before lunch. If you're from J to Z, your interview is later uh, in the day. Uh, so make sure you rinse your mouth and you have gum or mint uh, that'll help you out after lunch. Uh, so you go to campus. One thing I made sure was as soon as you go to campus property, that's when the interview starts. You don't know who you're going to interact with. So make sure you don't cut off anyone. You don't honk at anyone. You don't be rude to anyone. As soon as you park there, smile at anyone you see, uh, anyone you talk to, because you don't know if that's the faculty and you don't know if they're going to be interviewing you. So when you go there, uh, smile at the receptionist, you sit down, they give you a name tag. Usually on the back of the name tag, they give you a group name if you're group A, B, C. More than likely if you're group A, your first half. Um, some schools actually do give you the interviewer name on the back and that would be helpful if you want to kind of look them up beforehand. Uh, but when you go there, they always bring out the faculty, they introduce themselves. I noticed that a lot of dental students don't really pay attention to the faculty when they're getting introduced because they're thinking, why should I listen to their story or who they are? Uh, nine out of 10 times, actually like 10 out of 10 times, the people that are introducing themselves are the people that are going to be interviewing you. So make sure you kind of not take notes, but make sure you pay really close attention to everyone's details. So for example, I had an interview where uh, they're like, my name is Dr. Vega, I am from Mexico, I like going back there, I like playing soccer, my favorite team's to blah, 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 you know? Later on, if they do interview me, I could be like, oh, wow, I love playing soccer too. And you can just kind of make that connection that way. Uh, and another thing, if you're from Ohio State, make sure you know about football because nine out of 10 times, someone's gonna ask about football, whether it's another student or a interviewer. Uh, for me, like three of the interviewers asking about football, but make sure you at least know a little bit about football, the football schedule, and if you beat that school in football or not. And that's about it. Um, after you go in, uh, you interview. After you're done with the interview, you probably get lunch. You do a panel about financial aid or student panel. Afterwards, people usually leave. So what to wear? Uh, I'm gonna start off with the guys first. Honestly, I'm gonna be brutally honest. A lot of you guys don't know how to dress. I've seen a lot of people wearing black suits gray suits that are baggy on them that is a little bit wrinkled. Uh, at the end of the day, dress to impress. If you look great, you feel great. So make sure you put a little bit of spice to it. If you're gonna wear black, at least wear like a nice watch or like a nice bow tie or a clip, something that makes it look clean and sharp. Also make it tailored, uh, make sure it fits you really well. Uh, don't wear something that's a little bit too baggy. Um, invest in yourself, uh, honestly, invest in yourself. I remember I wore some red crap socks that really stood out. I did get a lot of compliments also from some interviewers that said, hey, I like your socks. So just make sure you stick out, make sure you look great, feel great. Great. Uh, if you do have a beard that's not fully connected or if it looks patchy, make sure you trim it down like this right here. Uh, if I had to interview, I probably will trim it down because there is a lot of patches. Honestly, for the gals, all you guys look beautiful. I wouldn't change anything. Uh, the only thing I'll recommend is make sure you bring a second pair of shoes. The reason is uh, after every dental school interview, you will do a tour around the school. So you'll be doing a lot of walking. And the only thing you have is high heels. Your feet will be killing you. Same with guys. I had like dress shoes on. My feet was just killing me. Uh, but yeah, make sure you just bring like a second pair of flats that you can walk around with uh, later on. But yeah, just make sure your eyebrows on fleek, you contour, blend, and highlight pop, you know what it is. I don't really have to say that much about it. You know, you look great, you feel great. So any last minute advice? The first one, don't be afraid to pause or take your time when you're answering a question. If they ask you a question that throws you off or you need some time to think, don't be afraid to say, oh, that's an interesting question. Can you give me moments to think about it? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. They're not gonna take any points off. Uh, the second thing is practice, practice, practice. Keep practicing to yourself and other people. And also make sure you record yourself so you listen to any filter words. I noticed that a lot of people say, um, for me, I say like a lot. When I'm explaining something, I say like, like, like. So it gets repetitive. So get those filter words out of there. The most important one, honestly, is be yourself. Don't sound like a robot. Don't script your words. Just make it flow naturally. And at the end of the day, it's not about answering the question. It's about carrying a conversation and also being personable. They already like your application. They already like your staff. They just want to see if you're the right fit for the school. And also if you can bring any value to the school. So bring your A game. But yeah, that's about it for interview tips. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. But like always, stay safe, stay blessed, take care. Thank you.